Hi guys, I'm Matthew. And I am Daniel. This is The Playroom Studio. We are musicians and we react to the videos that you guys suggest to us. Yes, we do. Today we are going to be watching a new addition to the Coke Studio Bangla collection. This is Shob Loki Koi. We have Kaniz Kandaka, Me Too, and Mushida Badi. No, that's wrong, isn't it? Mushida Badi, no. No, yeah. Mushida Badi. That's what we've got today. We're going to get into it. We're going to see what's going on. It only came out a couple days ago, so we're not as bad as we normally not are. Not as late as we were on the last one. But we did say we were on holiday last time, so actually, give us a break. Do you know what so I mean? yeah, so yeah, we're really looking forward to it. As usual with all Coke Studio videos, and especially the Coke Studio Bangla videos, there's a lot of diversity going on musically, so we're interested to see what this is. You never know what you're going to get, do you? Unless you're familiar with Mashida Badi. Coke Studio Bangla, and season one. Can his Kandaka may me too. There's a bee in the, in the room. Oh, thank God for that. We thought it might be dead. I thought it died. I was ironically going to talk about the buzzy nature of that vocal at the beginning. The, That's brought mm, life back. It might, it might be that which has brought the bee back to life, actually. Um, so there is this kind of trance-like um, quality to what's going on, a meditative sort of um, yeah. vibe. And then when he comes in, pure vocalization, we're getting full on vocals, ah, really opening up from the back, just really getting a lot of vocals here, self-conducting. It's always really great to experience that sort of genuine vocal expression rather than just the confines of a song regular. Very sharply dressed and harmony on that. The arrangements are always very complex and textured as well. I think we're about to hear from Machine Baddy. Right, so that's an interesting line there. So um, one wears beads, another counts beads on, on the tasbih. On the so That's when you're you're praying and you're. So are these religious differences between um, denominations or actual religions? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm I, I'm familiar with the concept of of praying on the beads. I know that's something that you do um, in a, in Iranian culture. So I don't know if it's a cultural thing or it's a religious. Thing. <laughs> Wow, what a pure voice, gosh. Ooh, yes. That's, I love that. I love, I love even seeing the backing vocalist being like... The, it's, the flute was coming in hard just then. Really interesting subject matter for the song. Quite, quite heavy, really. So really, we missed the trick. I love that. A huge amount of resonance at the top. Really, really nice. 
nice. We missed a trick because at the bottom they always describe what the song is kind of about. We didn't read that. But it's dedicated to the eternal love for human beings. Looking back at the human history, one cannot help but wonder well, that we as a species um, have always been a part of one single consciousness. Wherein, wherein one part of the world, Shakespearean folks say fee fi fo fum, the other part of the world, Bengali say how mal cow to Q, okay, in a ghostly presence. Really, yeah, I mean, it's complex, isn't it? Just kind of that there's, there's similarities all over the world. People who've never met each other, they've come to similar conclusions and stuff yeah. like that. Is that they almost, it, like, I was sort of more interpreting it like you reach the afterlife almost, and who was right? It was since it sounded like then, you know what I mean? Like, mm. no. Shuffle, it's reminding me of Janelle Monet somewhere. Yeah. There's a sort of tip on the tightrope. Yeah. The horn section is very, very good. Kind of unusual as well. Wow. I haven't seen too much horn section in these kind of songs. Me either. <laughs> this guy's very good. Oh, I love that. That was so lovely. Containers like are uh, outer what contains the mid inside. Bit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Is that mm, interesting? <laughs> Conceptual stuff. Shifty business, but the water is the same, man. Uh. I love that because I know personally that that's a really amazing release of that feeling that you get when you're just singing on stage and you have the opportunity to, yeah. Just you often have a lot of um, adrenaline when you're in a performance situation. So the hardest thing to. to do is to restrict Try what you're really letting good. out and be really uh, um, delicate, re restrained and yeah, delicate with it. So yeah, to actually be able to open up as well. But yeah. <laughs> I've 
riddled my religious identity around the free marketplace of my Jesus. Lalon. I feel like a huge hole in this situation for us is not knowing what Lalon is. Also. But they're saying what does what religion does Lalon belong to, really? So Lalon obviously being a concept that's held between you know, amongst different religions, but which one is it attributed to? Prominent Bengali philosopher. Oh, it's a philosopher. Okay. So maybe it's like saying oh, the wisest you. of us, a wise man. What does he? What did he believe? Kind of. Is it debated what, what religion he belongs to? Mm. I'm yet to see. So this might be based on his um, philosophizing. he makes that sound is unbelievable crazy so many other people could play it be good at that and not make that very interesting not make that sound move in the same way that he does it's because unbelievable that wasn't um it's not particularly safe topic or undivisive topic so i wonder so i wonder how that's been received as well like it's it's the... i imagine there's more room for discussion than we then you would you would think there is in certain cultures oh, of course but you think sometimes i think the perception can be that things are very fraught with tension and you can't talk about you know well maybe this could be true what are you talking about how could that be true? you know that sort of thing that but you know this, this Perhaps, is a good yeah. sign no, yeah i found it really interesting really really interesting so yeah really really enjoyed watching this video the performance Curious aspect of it their voices are so good the musicians really really shone in this one as well so we're glad to have watched another uh performance on the coke studio bangla mashida baddy i just feel like that's a name that's almost like a name that like an american singer would have mm. she is she a baddy do you do you know what i mean is anyone getting it yet is anyone um, getting that connotation right so yes yeah, so thanks so much for suggesting this video to us or sticking with us as we continue to watch them we will carry on watching them uh, so subscribe to check that out and we'll see you guys again soon. We'll see you soon guys. Bye. Bye.